Aloha once again from beautiful Ireland. Uh, okay, so I woke up today and found out there's a, a second attempt to stop my speaking engagement here in Ireland. But before I get to that, let me talk about this, uh, uh, this beautiful woman, Yvonne Walsh, who is in an Irish prison right now on day 11 of a hunger strike because she refuses to give up her home, which technically is a dwelling according to the Irish constitution. Uh, Nine-tenths of the law is possession and being in your home is what is required for you to not give up your possession. And ultimately here in Ireland there are 135,000 homes, families that are under the threat of losing their homes. And unfortunately the sad truth is that the Irish government is in collusion with, of course, the bankers, as all of our governments are. And 135,000 families are at risk of losing their home and being out on the streets, and many already are. And Yvonne Walsh, a mother of two 14-year-old daughters, is on day, day 11 of a hunger strike. So love and respect to her and all the good people of Ireland who are facing eviction from their homes. Uh, this is a tragic and absolutely unacceptable story that needs to be righted. And I have met many of the good people here who are fighting the banks. And this battle is a battle not just for the Irish people, but for all people. So a shout out to this lovely woman. I hope that the Irish people make sure that she is not violated any further. Day 11 should not go into day 12. This woman should be released and put back into her home. Uh, so again, let us not, let us not comply with this insanity. Now, getting back to my speaking engagement, uh, there's now been a second attempt to shut me down. Now, of course, the people who are doing this hide in the shadows, don't they? And it really begs the question, if your job is to try and prevent me from speaking here in Ireland, who do you work for? Who do you work for? Who are you? See, nobody knows. Now, the second venue, uh, I know for a fact that the owner of the bar has been leaned on. He has been intimidated, and ultimately, uh, he has had to pull out of allowing me to speak there. But thank you again to the good people who are here because there is another venue now. Now, I had a choice to go to another venue and chosen not that one because a lot of these places can be leaned on, whereas the one that now this event is going to take place, which is called 720 Bar in Central Derry, uh, I will be going there tonight, 730. And ultimately, I will be giving a talk. And you're not going to stop uh, my voice or the voice of truth, period, whoever you are. And why don't you come out of the shadows and expose who you are and why it is that you want to shut me down. But the bottom line is, I'm going to go and I'm going to speak. I've been contacted by good people, not just in Ireland, but around the world, who are very much behind me because they know damn well that my agenda is nothing but the truth. And the truth is, I'm going to speak mine. My truth is going to be spoken one way or the other. I have faced this kind of nonsense over and over. But the clear thing here is, who do you work for? Who do you work for that you want to shut me down? Shame on you whoever you are. So, to the good people who are coming to uh, Sandino's tonight, uh, we'll try and make sure there's a notice there so you know in case you didn't get a hold of this video first off, but Bar 720, Central Dairy, 730 tonight. Come on down, looking forward to meeting the good people. And those who like to hide in the shadows, well, there's your opportunity to come and do your thing up front. Identify yourselves. Good luck with that.